As Minnesotans, we've always had an appreciation for the outdoors and all it holds. But recently, we've spent a whole lot more time indoors. And guess what? It's changing out there. I think we're seeing a lot of um, observations of how it might be impacting wildlife. And Joseph Bump is a wildlife biologist at the University of Minnesota. He says we're starting to see the effects of less human interaction on our animal populations, not just here, but around the globe. While we're on quarantine, to see them uh, using beaches, using urban areas, on the roads, or coming to town, so to speak, um, is not too surprising. And those observations raise this real general question of how will a pandemic like this affect wildlife? Goats are conquering. We've seen goats going gaga in the streets of Wales, lions just lying on the roads in Africa. And the bears, well, you could probably guess what the bears are doing. For the most part, I think they're having a party. Animals in the wild seem to be moving more freely without fear. Now that there are no people, the bears are literally just walking down the road to get to where they need to go, which is kind of cool to see. While there have been many positive effects, not all of them have been good. Some animal species rely on humans for food sources. Monkeys in Thailand were fed by tourists. Now they're fighting and scrounging for food. In Turkey, they've been trying to feed the stray cat population and, in Pakistan, the dogs. Even here in Minnesota, with less traffic on the roads, there will likely be fewer car-deer crashes. That sort of carrion, roadkill, is a major food source for a lot of scavengers. Bald eagles make use of that readily, um, and will they be impacted? The lasting impacts remain to be seen, but it does bring up an important question on this 50th anniversary of Earth Day. What is our role in all of this? Does the slowdown illustrate something for us uh, in terms of how animals can behave, you know, um, interacting with humans? And that's a good question to think about on Earth Day or any other day of the year. Well, to help local families facing hardship, Care 11 is raising funds for Second Harvest Heartland. To donate, go to care11.com slash give11. We'll be right back.